What's up, mini truckers? Ben here, that US mini trucks. We got a little Honda Acti here. I got my Honda Acti jacket. We're gonna do a little walk around. And this one's for sale, about 8,000. So we can take credit card, we can take bank wire, cash on delivery. I guess we'll start around, just walking around. Let me zoom back in a little bit. One of the things I was noticing, see that scuff right there? So the bedsides fold down and then they use these stoppers here. Let me just show you. And what happens with these big wide tires, I don't know if you can see in there, but they rub against the side. So we kind of have to figure out you're gonna either have to run with the chains, you know, and that's what the purpose of these is, is you can keep your bed, you know, fold it up. But I was hauling rocks the other day and I don't think I would wanna put the rocks on that bedside. I feel like it would like pull it off. They were like over a hundred pounds each. So in that case, you could remove the bedsides too, so that little bolt right there is the only one holding it on and then these hinges just slide off to the to the left so that's that the fuel tank is here this one's got brand new tires these 24 by 8 by 12s i really like these because they're real soft and then they've got a but still a real aggressive tread pattern you can see that rock just sitting there and then let's see this is a newer model so it's got a little bit different kind of a cooler head uh, headlight style i think it's let's see yeah this is a 96 so this is a, about as new as we can get as far as the importation laws for using a 25 year old rule so you got a spare tire tool uh there and the jack is there with your windshield wiper reservoir. Cool thing on these Hondas, they've got a little storage compartment and then it locks up. So to get it down, you just hit that and then pull it down. You've got a little more storage under there and then inside your glove box. This one has a little bit of some records and paperwork. The rear bed work light, that's pretty cool. So if you put that on, you got this and so that helps out and then we'll take a little walk around of the headlights all the electric works there's your headlights and then you've got your tail lights there with your even the license plate has a little light on it rear bed work light so it's got a little backlight there to let you know that it's still on the newer ones they put a little more uh warnings in these so they have a seat belt warning now so if you don't put your seat belt on that red light will stay on this other one is for your parking brake so i've got to keep the parking brake here we will we'll continue walking around and then we'll start it up oh headlights i'm gonna put the headlights off i saw there was a little dent somewhere in the roof right there but other than that, it looks really good. There's no cracks in any of the glass. It does have some wear. Looks like somebody, they had like a sticker right there or something. And then there's just kind of some normal, like there's like a, a little ding right there. The bed is getting dirty. I was hauling rocks in it, so that's like dirt, but overall a really good example runs good it's only got 76,000 kilometers so let's see if we can crawl underneath and let the, the light get adjusted for a sec but yeah really nice looks good under here there's no real rust to talk about we put a brand new air filter in this. We put new spark plugs. 
uh, we adjusted the carburetor, put brand new oil, synthetic oil with a brand new filter, the brand new tires, the black wheels with the red center caps, and then this one had to get the new overflow reservoir. So these come and they're a little bit cracked. And then that's pretty much it. I think I, I thought I needed to tighten these terminals, but they feel good. They've been loosening them at the port, so you can see. Let's see if we can see or not. The negative terminal and the positive terminal. Other than that, let's see. So that, oh yeah, so yeah, look at that, looks really good, a little bit of surface rust on this uh, spare tire, but the spare tire's there, here's some of your engine uh, components, some of the vacuum lines and fuel tank is there, they've got the auxiliary fan. That's a nice feature on the newer ones, so you, the old ones actually don't even have that. But that's what that is. Okay, I think we're ready for a startup. And then I'm not gonna be able to drive it much, just cause where I am, but I drove this one a good amount. Just, I started in my yard and I had to bring rocks all the way around everywhere. So let's just go ahead and make it happen. Smells real good in here. There's no no surprises really. Pretty low miles. It's got the six digit odometer. Starts up real good. Goes into that high idle. So they all start up. Like I said, this is the parking brake and this other one is a seatbelt warning. So I know people sometimes think we're trying to scam them or something, but See this bad boy. Interior light doesn't work. Oh, kind of. Was, these are really finicky, and that switch is discontinued. So I usually just leave them off. But I noticed. Let's see, sometimes you can mess with the thing on the door to try to get this light on. Like I said, it's better for me to just leave them off. So you can hear it's warming up. It'll go down into colder idle pretty soon. Once it starts warming up a little bit. There's the headlights. We can drive it around while it's warming up. Makes the most sense probably. I think I'm, I'm stuck in there, it's just too tight. I'm trying to go between a rock and a hard place. And there's like a cone, couple cones down there. I got my tire changing machine. get out here just so I don't make it too complicated on myself later but we got it all moved around we didn't hit anything that's the beauty in these mini trucks I mean just like a normal driveway you can turn around fully fully turn around so, let's take a look on this side Windows roll up, no problems. I 
hear that clicking from the fuel pump. That's normal. You can see the water pump pumping. But yeah, I was working with this one the other day, and then I just left it on. I was like, oh, I'm going to come back in a second, and got distracted. And like an hour later, I came back, and the thing was still on. Running good. Radiator fan's working fine. But yeah, I put that full synthetic in, so I don't have to feel guilty when they're just running here. One of the couple of the squawks or issues that I know about, I think I might have a replacement one, but it's supposed to have four bolts here, and the one is missing, which would be an easy fix, but the little female thing is missing too, so I've got to find one of those, and then the bolt will be easy. And then, uh, let me see, there was something else. Oh yeah, this is kind of a weird thing, so. The wiper blades, I don't know if it's the relay, but they got windshield wiper juice. So like, say we just put the squirter on, the wiper blades, they don't go, which is fine. But when you turn the wiper blades off, they just stop wherever you flip the switch. So it can be a little bit annoying if you say stop it here. So I think that relay is messed up, but for most of us, you can just kind of stop it here at the bottom. I didn't really dig too much into it. And then we've got a radio here, AM radio. Let's see if we can get any, get a couple stations. I was polling 15, 20, 25 plus. Okay, we got a little cigarette lighter thing. Let's check this old bad boy. And I, I'll show you, I'll try to feed in some clips of some earlier when it was running and with the water temperature coming up. But let's check for this thing, these old school. Some of these, y'all don't even know what this is, but after a little while, it's gonna warm up. Pop right out of there. Be glowing red. Like Pretty good. All right, all right. Yep, no strange noises, sounds. Seems like it's got power. I've carried about, I don't even know, probably 400 pounds worth of rocks in there. Hear the water, oh, the water temperature's coming up. You can do like a sustained pull. Real quiet though, especially once they're warmed up. There's the water temperature coming up. This one I actually started the other day and then, I don't know, I got distracted and I came back and like an hour later and the thing was still running over here. So I'm glad we run, we put the full synthetic in and I don't have to feel bad about them. So it came out on its own right when I was reaching for it. I guess that's why we had lighters. Jeez, that thing takes forever. Yep, pretty nasty. All right, hopefully this helps. You write down in the comments, the dude's not too far from here. He was thinking about buying it and see what you think. Write down if you think you should buy it or wait for another one. We're gonna do another video on this blue Acti Attack pretty soon. So that one I've got with the little pink center caps and it's on the street tires, but this is the red, the white one with the red. So we can put this back, show you how this works. Oh, it's gonna be a cold morning, so look at all. You don't want them getting too brittle. Oh, it's already pretty brittle from being where we're at now. So, write down in the comments. Hit that like or subscribe. Stay mini. Have a good one. Bye.